Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm the co-host. All right. So let me get participants open. We have to start the meeting in order to get people in. Is that how it works? Yeah, I already started it, so it should be Sorry. going. Kind of kooky, but uh... yeah, that's how they wanted. The process on this end, at least. There we go. Hello. Hi, Ed. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> Trickling in. Hello. So neither of you had a uh, official link? Nope. I don't know nope. what's going on. I emailed about it, I think, uh, two months back. Mm. Yeah, we tried, I think, Henry, too, and it, for some reason, it works with my other town committees, but not with this one. They can't seem to figure it out. I don't know. Just as long as you remember to <laughs> let us in, I think it's all right. Well, if I'm here and Alan makes me co-host. Yeah. So Sarah's gonna be late, I don't know about anyone else. Shoshana's often late. Bennett sometimes forgets, but. Bennett isn't gonna be able to be here because of a swim meet. Did you see that email? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, Ellen and Julian, you're not getting the email invite. Is that what I just heard? Not from the town, no. Okay. I'll look into that. Thank okay. you. We've, we've looked into it in the past and it wasn't, they weren't able to fix it, but. Yeah. I wasn't getting it for a while too. And then um they did something and i started getting the invitation so okay i don't get any emails half the time and i still get those so <laughs> now i have a terrible glitch with gmail and emails will come in three or four days later they don't come at all or, oh well sometimes they go through and then my outgoing emails i get an error message every outgoing email that i send to someone with a gmail account 
<laughs> Usually it goes through and I still get the error message, but I never know. So, yeah. Funny. So. Uh, I'll wait another minute and I'll text uh, Shoshana. Are you sure that uh, Bennett's not coming? Julian? Yeah. Yeah, he sent an email. I think he CC'd you, but uh, yeah, it looks like he actually sent it to you and CC'd me at 3.50. Britt said she would be at the meeting. Uh, No, I never got it. It's in your Gmail. Yeah. Lost in Gmail. Yeah, I don't have it. So actually, let me look one more place. No. I'll text Shoshana. Yeah, I don't think we have a quorum, do we? No, we need four. So Sarah said she'd be here a quarter of six or six. interesting question sort of forwarded from my family, which is my mom has a group of students at UMass who were wondering if they would, if one of you would be interested in leading them on a tree tour around town, um, just in maybe Kendrick Park, town, common type area. I mean, I might do it, but I uh, was wondering if any of you would be interested. Yeah, I'd be interested. The problem is, you know, we didn't like we have the whole, whole other thing all organized and designed. Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. But I, yeah, I could do that. Okay. And some trees that we didn't get to the huge uh, uh, tulip tree and the huge oak that's behind the tulip tree in the woods. Okay, I'll ask her more about it. it just came up at dinner. Yeah, timing might be difficult. So yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I think if you just stay like near the common, that would be great. Yeah. What does your mom teach, Julian? Uh, she's the director of Upward Bound at UMass and they run like summer thing. Oh, okay. I wonder if she knows about my son's company, Croca Expeditions. I haven't heard of it. But I could ask. It's K R O K A. Okay. I will ask. Have you guys ever done tours for UMass students before? Or? I've given tours in my community. I haven't done a tree tour. Yeah. Dance while we're waiting. Yeah, when it doesn't look like we're gonna have a quorum. No, it's just uh, Sarah will be here. Said by six, so. Okay. And I just texted Shoshana, and gotcha. Britt's not a member yet, but she's usually here, so not officially a member. So. Right. You think we should still go ahead with an informal meeting if we don't get our members? Shashan is joining now by phone, so. Okay, perfect. It's always a little tricky, she wrote.
technically we're not supposed to deliberate on things without a quorum. Right. It's not just technical. <laughs> You're in not supposed case, to. <laughs> in that case, we're supposed to cancel. Yes. Yeah. Well, but we have stuff we're planning and we just need to get the details down. So we've done it. Yeah, you're not supposed to even do that if you don't have a quorum. It's a yeah. public meeting and you don't have a quorum. You're not supposed to, something may come up that people, you know, so. Yeah. Those are the rules. Yep. Yeah. And do we usually have, like, does it count if someone's joining by phone? Like Shoshona have a quorum? Yes. No sign of her yet. Okay. And do they allow us to wait? Like, how long do they allow us to wait? I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. We could do a crossword puzzle together while we wait or something. You know. <laughs> that probably yeah, wouldn't be the rules. I guess small talk doesn't count as official deliberation. <laughs> right. Trouble is this is being recorded because the only way that I could get you guys in was for Alan to start the meeting. So right. <coughs> so you are being recorded for official record at this moment. You should have got a warning when you joined. Did I get a warning? Yeah. I don't know. Do you get a warning? I don't think so. No. It's okay. What if there's a way to an option. I do when I log on to the town council meetings, but oh, hey, Shoshona, great. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yay. All right, welcome. Um, so we have a quorum. We can start the meeting officially. Uh, we need a note taker. Um, anybody volunteer? I can do it. Thank you. All right. So Ellen will be note taker and uh, Sarah will be here hopefully by six o'clock. Um, I'll share the agenda. Actually, um, Ellen, do you have the agenda? I do. Yeah. Alan, can you make her co-host and you could share your screen? That way um, I can't share my screen because I'm note taker. Oh, okay. Julian, <laughs> you have the minutes. The, the, not the minutes, the agenda. Agenda. I have it in my email. Uh, let me go grab it. So why don't you make Julian co-host? Actually, I can do that, right? Yeah, I can do it too. I'll raise you. No, I can't do it. I can remove him, but I can't. Uh, you are co-host, Julian. So you should be able to share your screen now. But you won't be able to see Shoshana, I guess. But um... okay, I hear you now, though. <laughs> All right. Well, while we do that, uh, any announcements? There's no public to comment. Are there any, there's no hearings, right? There will be a tree hearing coming up. Do you want to discuss that now, or? Um, I can. I can do it under tree warden items. I see. I'll wait for that. Um, then approval of the June minutes. Have you guys read the June minutes? They look good. Yes. All in favor of approving them? <laughs> Shoshana? I actually wasn't at the June meeting, so I can't approve them. All right, well, we don't have a, does that count, Alan? 
We have a quorum, three people. Yes, yeah. Okay. So they're approved. Okay, good. Um, I'll take care of getting them on the town website. Um, what's next? Any luck, Julian, with sharing minutes? That's sharing the agenda. No. I uh, never mind that. Oh, there you go. Can't hear you, Shoshana. Oh, it. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. Good. Um, so volunteer hours, Julian, can you take them down? Cause you're going to do that from now on, right? Julian. He must be having Wi-Fi issues. Julian, can you hear there, us? There's a storm rolling through. Yeah. You know, this is going to be a fun meeting. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Can you yeah, hear me? Hi. Can you hear me? <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> okay. Can you... Never mind. I'll take the hours. Okay. How many hours did you work, Julian? Uh, let me see. Let's go with nine. Okay. Ellen? I think I only had two this month. Including this meeting? Oh, all right. Three. <laughs> Shoshana? Four. Okay. I had probably 10. Um, we'll get the other people as they, we'll check in on that. Okay. So that's done. What's next on the agenda? Chairs report. Uh, there's not a lot to report. Um, there was a problem on Fearing Street that Alan sorted out. Somebody was very upset that uh, trees were being taken down, but they were dying trees that needed to be taken down. So Alan took care of that. Um, but I was thinking, walking on Fearing Street the other day, maybe that's the place, um, like Sunset and Fearing, that area we, where we could do some planting for one of our plantings. Because there is some open space, especially on that end of Fearing Street. And here is Sarah. Hello. Hey, so we're, I'm doing the chairs report. How many hours do you have for the month? Two. Including this meeting? Yep. OK. All right. Um, yeah, so my thought was maybe Fairing Street could be a planting at some point sometime soon. Should keep that on the back burner. And then the other main thing I have is, should we do a work day or a meeting in August or both? And Shoshana suggested we do what we did a few years ago, which is to have a, a party gathering with some of the other tree committees, Northampton, maybe Greenfield. Um, we could still yeah, I've talked, to, I've talked to some of the uh, Northampton people, and they like that idea, too. All right. Uh, should we try to do it on the second Tuesday? Does that work for people? I don't know if it works for me. Let me see if I can find that info. Yeah, let me see. It should be clear, right? Because like, it's a habit to leave it open. Let me see. That would be the ninth. August 9th. Yeah, let me see if I can do that before I. Yes, I can do August 9th. Yes, it is the 9th. <laughs> All right, tell everyone else about that. I would, um, I just want to, if I can pipe in, the August 9th would be the, the tree hearing. Um... Uh -huh. Oh, is it? <laughs> well, okay. maybe we could have the picnic before the tree hearing and then. Go to the tree yeah. hearing after. Okay. Make a whole tree day of it. <laughs> so where do we where should we gather and uh, we've gathered at my yeah, place. We gathered at um, the Mill River Conservation Area. That's a nice place to gather. Yeah, that was a nice spot. We had a good time there, and it's got like the shelter. It's 
if you like, you know, it rains or something. You'd have to reserve the shelter if you want to. Right. Okay. Um, why don't we have the tree hearing at five and the gathering at six? Because people coming from Northampton are from further away. They were late last time getting there. Okay. Sound All good? right. So gathering at six on the ninth. And tree hearing at five. Does that work? Works for me. So we'll do the tree hearing and zoom, and then we'll zoom over to Kendrick to not Kendrick to Mill River. Who's going to reserve the um, shelter? Do you want I to? I can do that. I think unless someone else wants to do it. Okay, and I'll contact the Greenfield Tree Committee. Shoshana, you want to contact Northampton again? Yep. Okay. And I'll see if we can find other committees around that might want yeah. to come. The pavilion at Groff is really nice as well on the lower level. Um, it's next to the river. Oh, yeah, they did redo Groff, right? So it's all. Yeah, well, the upper playground's nice and new. The lower pavilion is kind of original and very rustic, and it's um, generally pretty nice area, um, kind of away from all the activity. Maybe it would be a good idea to showcase like our new fancy new park to uh, out of towners, you know, when they come and visit. Yeah, <laughs> they could bring their kids and they could play in the splash pad. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Will they? Will the splash pads be on at six o'clock in the evening? They run from ten a.m. to eight p.m. Oh, great! Yeah. All right, let's do Groff Park then. Okay. Easy, the August 9th. All right, I'll contact the park people. <laughs> Let them know we'll be there. And should we do a planting? Uh, not a planting, a, a work day. I don't think you need to. Take a break in August. OK. Everyone in agreement? Yeah. OK, so we have the. The party, no meeting, no work day. All right. Um, next up, let me see. I shrunk that down so I could see other things. Now I have to get it bigger again. Oh, the vice chair report. This is a new section of the uh, of the agenda. So, Julian. That's correct. Thank you, Henry. Um, so I have been out. Uh, this morning was the first morning at around 7.15 and used an old tarp to shake off the Japanese beetles on North uh, East, on North East Pleasant. East Pleasant. North, I thought North <laughs> Pleasant, but East Pleasant. On East Pleasant Street. And so basically what I noted is that at 7.15, it's still a little warm because about half of them fly off. Um, so that's one thing I'm thinking to go earlier tomorrow morning. The thunderstorm will probably wipe some of them off, though. Um, and then the other thing is that I spoke with a resident, um, the North Common, who was concerned about solar and I just explained our uh, work uh, around the solar bylaw and how we don't really have any control over forested land trees and are more in charge of public shade trees. And I also worked with a person from the South Church um, about the tree across the road. It looks like there was a dying uh, maple across the road from the South Church. Um, so I just told them how to get involved and what C-Click Fix is and that type of thing. So maybe you'll get a report from them soon, Alan. Okay. This is South Amherst okay. Common there. Correct. Next to the Munson Library, the church. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah of course. Um, so that's most of my report. Um, I don't have anything else. Then. Okay, Alan, you're up. 
Eric, you might, you might lose me. My lights are flickering, which rarely happens as this uh, thunderstorm approaches. Um, oh, am I? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> the, um, so Fearing Street, yeah, so there was a, you know, um, there's a house move planned uh, associated with the Sunset Ave project where they're going to be moving two houses off the property and Sunset to build a new um, uh, project there for um, housing. Uh, we did the tree hearing for those trees uh, several months ago. Uh, one is going to stay, the one in the corner, and then the tree further to the uh, south on um, Sunset is going to be removed for the sewer line project, uh, part of that project. Um, but so they're going to move those houses and they're going to take um, the route that goes straight up from Sunset to Fearing, uh, another house, a vacant lot on Fearing Street across from Nutting Ave. Um, and uh, the contractor and I walked the street um, and the person moving the house, Barry Roberts, walked the whole distance and we talked about pruning um, requirements to get the house down the road. Uh, and there were no trees involved in removal for that project to the house move. But there are two trees on the street that have been on my removal list for some time. Well, one tree that was on my removal list for some time. And then the other one was one that was recently discovered to have a crack um, from a recent windstorm this spring. Um, and the whole front leader of the tree is going to split out. And um, so I was going to remove the tree. Um, Barry Roberts offered while he was there pruning the same trees I were going to take down, he offered to just take them down. Um, so I said, sure, that'd be great, thank you. Um, and on a, one of the mornings several weeks ago, his contractor showed up to start pruning and we do the removals and everyone in the neighborhood got up in arms that you know they were um, taking all these trees down for the house move. And, so we stopped the project, pulled the company off, um, and they're working through the issue with their project, the house move and all that. Um, so I still need to remove those trees. They're still gonna come down. Um, it's just that the contractor's not gonna be doing it. Um, there's also another tree that's adjacent to the property that um, completely separate from the the project, Eversource is putting up a new pole there, several new poles. The poles are taller, they're 40 or 45 footers. Um, so all the trees next to those wires are gonna to have to be pruned so that the wires can fit now. And there's a black walnut tree there that has a wall of decay from an old scar going up the back side of the trunk. Crown looks perfectly healthy, but it's, um, it's not structurally uh, healthy or was not structurally healthy. Um, and uh, so I gave Eversource permission to take that tree down um, because of the decay on the backside of the tree. They were gonna take off uh, two large leaders on the front of the tree anyway to make room for the wires. So we're gonna have some new spaces to plant trees on Fairing Street. So both these trees, to make it clear, are were likely to die anyway. So, yeah, so one is one of the trees, the maple tree in the grass belts, Norway maple. It was three quarters dead and full of decay. So that tree is a. It's very obvious to the yep. passerby. The tree needs to be removed. The other Norway maple with the split leader in the grass belt. Um, isn't so obvious. It seems, you know, it has, a, the crown is fully in leaf, um, but there is a crack that you can see daylight through um, in the trunk of the tree, so. Um, Alan? Yes? Is it possible to cable that tree? I don't cable trees in the public way. Um, it's just you're admitting, so when you put a cable in a tree, you're admitting that there's a defect in the tree. Cables are not designed to stop a tree from failing. They're designed to catch 
the leader if it fails, essentially. Um, and uh, if it was, you know, in a park, a low use park or someplace quieter, um, you know, I would draw, I would cable a tree, but on the road, uh, historically the town cabled a lot of trees. Um, but, you know, legally, um, you know, uh, times have changed and you, you know, having that kind of risk that you have admitted to being on the public way uh, leaves the town exposed to a lot of liability, leaves me to exposed to liability. So, and the cable also needs to be inspected yearly to make sure that it's properly um, functioning uh, and needs to be re-cabled uh, uh, in a number of years. A lot of cabling, I mean, what we see with cabling is that trees, when they do fail with a cable in it, they often fail at the point of the cable. So um, because you're drilling a hole into the tree uh, in, the, in one of the systems that's used for cabling, um, you actually introduce an area of decay into the, the wood of the tree, and especially if it's a smaller diameter branch or a leader, um, it doesn't take terribly long for that decay to weaken the wood. So they usually fail right at the bolt that goes into the tree. Uh, and then the third tree was in decay anyway. It did. It was uh, yeah. in decay. It wasn't a wasn't um, an immediate removal that needed immediate removal, but um, with every source pruning half of it off, um, right? The front leaders. Then I just said, "Go ahead and take it down." So okay, uh, we'll take it down. Understood. Well, certainly the neighborhood. <laughs> more trees, I can understand why they would be upset, but the explanation is logical and understandable. Uh, have you met Alan, with Excuse me, Alan, um, mm -hmm. the two Norway maples in the grass belt, what street is that on? That's Fearing Street. Okay. Between between uh, Nutting Ave and Lincoln is the section of road we're talking about. Thank you. Henry, do you have a question? Is that a question? Um, oh, have you talked to the neighbors about these trees? Or are we going to get I have. Okay. I have. Yeah. It's one of the things, it's odd, is that actually one of the people that I talked to, actually, with three people standing there, said she was happy we were taking down the split Nori Maple. Hmm. And then changed their tune when they found out or thought. Uh, the tree is coming down for another reason. Um, so yeah. I don't have the full story on that, so I can't really talk in detail. Um, but um, so, yeah, so we're going to have a lot of you know, potential locations for planting um, on Fearing Street, which means, you know, I have to actually get the other two trees down and get the stumps ground out. and. Um, do some talking with adjacent property owners to get some setback plantings done in there. So the um, Fearing Street removals that we had the tree hearing for that nobody uh, posed um, <coughs> still haven't happened, but you know, I'm hoping to get them done soon. And then uh, I was told to go ahead and move forward with the uh, scheduling the tree hearing for the Mary Maple. So they want to move that to August. So um, that will be posted to here on August 9th, uh, the tree hearing, 5 p.m. And we'll need to do a site visit uh, with the committee to um, look at the tree. trees. There's three, actually three trees on the North Carolina. So this uh, tree hearing could be a lengthy one. Yeah, so I mean, the um, I would imagine that somebody's going to oppose the removal of the tree, which oh, case yeah. it will go to the town manager. So we can have an open discussion about it and let people voice their um, thoughts. But I don't see a need to continue the tree hearing, you know, once people have had a chance to say their piece, um, and we can document it, and the committee can hear what people have to say. So. We can end it at six, you know, before six easily. 
When should we do the tree, the site visit? Whatever's convenient for the committee. Let me get my schedule up again. I keep putting my schedule away. I'm sorry. Um, Yeah, I'm not around the week before. Well, someone pick a day. I don't know if I'll make it or not, but. Ideas, anyone? Well, we usually do them on Tuesdays, correct? Yeah. I don't have my calendar in front of me. Um, maybe the Tuesday before. Does, does somebody want to send out a uh, one of those Google calendar requests? I don't know if anybody uses that. I don't. Um... Google, yeah. The, the Tuesday before August 9th. That's what we mm -hmm. said, yeah. That would be so the second. That's the second. I, think I left my phone at work. Oh, I'll be I'll be home by then. Let me see. August uh, May August third. Um, I think I'll be home. Yes, I can be. I can be at that meeting if we meet on that Tuesday. Other people. Sarah? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That that works. That's a good so, time. It's August second. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Five thirty. That works for me. Okay. Let's do that. What are the other two trees, Alan? There are two nowhere maples um, on the north end of the common there. Um, You'll tag them? Yeah, they'll be posted. Okay. All right. Okay, Liz. Uh, anything else, Alan? It's okay. That's, that's it. Okay, hey, Sarah, the treasurer's report. Um, I don't have uh, anything to report. Uh, we had COVID this last week and I have not been able to do anything. Um, oh. it, We've, it's actually been two weeks now. My husband had COVID and was hospitalized. My baby got COVID and I had COVID. So um, I just made it to this meeting. <laughs> sorry. Um, sorry. Sorry. That. <laughs> sorry. That's fine. Is your, is your husband okay? Yeah, he's he's fine now. Um, it, we ended up kind of staggering how we got sick. He got it first and we tried to distance and like isolate at home. Um, which worked for a couple of days, but then inevitably um, the baby got it and then I got it. So um, so we weren't the most sick at the same time, which was nice, but it has been an ongoing saga. Um, so I'm sorry, I haven't I haven't gotten the balance at all. No, no but worries. I, I will for next month. <laughs> it's not urgent. Actually, we don't meet next month, so you have till September. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Great. I'll definitely have it for then. <laughs> All right. Right. Okay. Presentations and discussions. The town tree inventory. Any news, Alan, or anyone else? Yeah, we uh, we've started. So um, Nick Bain uh, is one of the seasonal employees. He's a Stockbridge student. He is. Um, he's been working my crew for uh, a good part of the spring, and uh, after the 
beginning of the fiscal year, when I had money again, essentially we were able to start um, using those funds to uh, do the inventory. So he's out on the streets, uh, at least six hours out of most days, uh, inventorying trees. And I need to have a little difficulty coordinating with the, the trainer who offered to train us um, on doing, you know, a volunteer kind of portion of the inventory. Um, so once I get that nailed down, um, he's doing some work with the US Forest Service right now, so he's been tied up. Is there anyone else who might train us? Uh, he's the right person because uh, okay. he works for the US government and it's free. So I like that. Okay. All right. Any thoughts on that, people? Social media update. Yeah, so I posted some images from our last work day to the public shade tree Instagram story and um, it got, I think, 17 views uh, and I think five more people followed us. So that is my update. Uh, I post some stuff on Facebook. I don't know how it performed. I, I haven't tracked it. Right. Um, one thing that would be good, I posted on Facebook, I'm not on Instagram, I can't do that, that we had a meeting tonight. So it would be good if you guys took that on that a week before, as soon as you get the link, go onto the town website and get the town link and put that on the um, on both things saying we're meeting Tuesday and here's the link kind of thing. I'll be sure to do that for next week. Okay. Or next month. Well, it'd be September again. Or September. Shana, can you do that for Facebook then? Yeah. Good. There's a bunch of things that I'm sort of doing that uh, I don't always get to. Like, we didn't get a newsletter out this month because I have to remind Bennett. So if he was here, I was going to say, you just got to put it on your calendar and do it. I can email him about that. You did? I can. Okay. Oh, that'd be good. But I want him to take that response initiative and responsibility. So, um, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you want to do that, uh, just All before right. the end of the month, send them an email saying, Hey, yeah. get the newsletter. Sounds good. Good. I'm muted somehow. So yeah, if you guys do that with the social media stuff, that'd be great. Um, yeah. Okay, tree to our next steps, Ellen. Um, I have done nothing on that. And neither <laughs> have I. <laughs> we should maybe in the fall meet and start planning the uh, the brochure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Second Saturday plantings. Uh, we did a we had a great time, and uh, Gina and her husband uh, Mulgro, something like that, were there, and. Uh, it was a small group, but we got everything done. And it just it felt nice to be doing that. I like that. Yeah. That's a big help. It really is a big help. Um, so. Yeah, we even got done early. Yeah. <laughs> Which is good because I had to leave then anyway to go do a show. But uh, um, so we're not going to do August, September. We have planned for Groff Park, I think, right? We did Groff Park. Um, we're going to do uh, Woodside. Oh, Woodside in September. Woodside right. Orchard, uh, I think was one of them. Okay. Can we do uh, Fairing Street in that area in October? I don't or? think so. We could, yeah. yeah. We can okay. do Fairing, we can do McClellan and Fairing Street. Great. They're kind of parallel to one another. They're not right next to one another, but they're, you know, close yeah. enough. Yeah, so because those people are upset and they've lost a lot of trees, it'd be good to get yeah. some in. Is that good, everyone? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, we'll play it by ear for November. Uh, the History Museum. <coughs> Excuse me. Still no um, change on that project. It's um, 
Okay. I'm just trying to get myself unburied from other projects and yeah. I hope to start that soon. Lose you, Henry? Sarah was going to reach out to Shoshana about her contact at the History Museum, but we know why that didn't happen. So, yeah. All right. We'll just put that on hold for this month. Uh, Mary Maple, North Com, we talked about. New members. I don't know where Britt is tonight, but um, supposedly things are in the works, but I haven't heard uh, from Paul since then. Did everyone get renewed who's needed to be renewed? Julian? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. My audio cut out. No. Did you get renewed for the committee? Yes, I did. They voted me for a term ending on the June 30th of 2025. Great. And Bennett was the other person, I think? They approved Bennett as well. They approved both of us unanimously on a consent agenda, I believe. And who was it who approved you? Town Council? Town Council, that's correct. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, now that that's done, uh, what Paul Bachman said is once they reapprove people, they'll start working on new people. So hopefully Britt will get on the committee soon. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Um, town budget line item, anything on that? I can um, say I, I got my new budget. Um, and there is a sort of capital. It's not a line item, but it's a capital item. So it's a one time uh, injection of money for removals um, so they put uh, an extra 40,000 in for to help with removals um, which are catching up to us uh, you can't stay ahead of them so. well removals those are usually done but we need a line we need money for new trees the money usually goes to trees that are just extremely large and um, while we can get those trees brushed out and um, you know removed it takes we don't have a we don't have the big equipment like cranes and log loaders to make it efficient and so we often use that money to um, high contractors to do the largest ones that we makes more sense for them to do yeah we actually what? did we did have a uh, large one of the exact trees that we would be using this money for failed last night and half of the tree went across East Pleasant Street um, by uh, Chestnut Street. Um, so right close to where we planted. Yeah, furthest towards the roundabouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Closer to Chestnut, where Chestnut comes out. So. Fortunately, nobody was there when it fell. Um, I didn't even notice and I live in the area. So it means you guys did a good job, I guess. <laughs> Somebody came in and pushed it to the side of the road in the middle of the night, and we cleaned it up uh, this morning. So, but the rest oh, of the tree still has the rest of the tree still has to be taken down, and uh, it's up on a high hill, uh, you know, leaning over private property. So it's kind of hmm. a big challenge. Yeah, and I've seen happen at least last year where you guys rent a big crane, and it comes in. You did something with West Cemetery that I posted on social media where they rented a big crane to do it. Uh, was it West Cemetery? North Cemetery. Yeah. North Cemetery. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. 
we need to keep the uh, some sort of pressure up to get this line item budget budget line item in past. I don't know how to do that. What the next steps are, but uh, Bennett's letter was good, and uh, we need to talk it up. We need to meet with our town council members and really promote this. I think we could could we print pamphlets and put them in like the library and town hall and on, on those type of bulletin boards. That's not a bad idea. Maybe we invite some of the town councils to our meetings. The, um, yeah, that's another idea. Solar bylaw committee. So there's a committee working on solar yeah. bylaws. Um, I don't know if anybody's attending those from the committee, um, but you know, if people are cutting down trees for solar, maybe there's a way in there to um, say, to justify the need to plant more trees because uh, they're getting cut down. So people can put solar on their roof. Is anyone going to those committee meetings? No. We should have a liaison to all these groups if possible. I can go to their next meeting if you want. Yes. Okay. That'd be great. Yep. Okay. Good. Um, all right, Kendrick Park, North Pleasant Street, anything new there? Oh, the only thing I saw was that they're going to go ahead and um, potentially make it one way for part of the distance down uh, North Pleasant on that side of Kendrick Park and do some temporary line painting to give people the idea of how it would look and function. Um, but there's no, I haven't seen any you know, action as far as tearing up the road and widening it and getting rid of the grass belt on the other side. So um, I don't think we need that on our agenda anymore, do you? No, this really doesn't involve any more tree removal, so. Okay, so I'll remove that. Right. When they're done with it, it'll be a nice place to do a planting. Okay. Uh, connections with Stockbridge School. Ellen, were you going to work on that? Somebody was. Not hmm? me. I had a, a, uh, a meeting with one of the uh, instructors there teachers, um, professors, um, and hope to continue, you know, building that relationship uh, as far as trying to get students engaged uh, in Amherst. So. I'd love to have either the students or the instructors come to a couple of our meetings. Mm -hmm. If you can talk to them about that, that'd be great. Yep, I will. I met some of them at the, um, Julian, we met a couple of them at the uh, Tree Wardens dinner. And that's where I came up with this idea. Yes, I remember. So I told them about us and about our meeting, but then I don't know what happened. So, all right. Yeah. Uh, anything new on Northampton Road? Nope. Nothing new. Can we take Stop. that off? Because I they're proceeding with construction, so I don't think there's any more removal. No, but we were going to document the structure okay. for that. Shoshana, have you been doing that? I took I took the four pictures. Okay. And I sent them all to Bennett, who has them in some sort of file, I guess. The um, the housing development that's taking place there. There's a group, a nonprofit group that you know bought one of those properties and is um, developing it for housing, and they they did their removals for the project as well. So it. Um, it took down a row of spruce trees, um, mature spruce trees. So um, it really opened up the view um, before you go down the hill to the west. Uh, just uh, really changed the streetscape over there. Not part of the road project, but it's a good example of 
infill housing. What exactly are they doing on Northampton Road? So they're doing a complete, uh, Mass DOT is doing a complete street. Um, so multi-use path on one side, sidewalk on the other side, bike lanes in the road. Um, town is, while they're there, the town has asked them to redo some old, old water and sewer lines, I think, um, fixing storm drains. Um, so it's a big, it's not just a road project, it's a complete, while they had the whole road torn up, let's fix everything that's buried yeah. so that, you know, it doesn't have to get dug up anytime soon. Um, so that's, you know, gonna, it's a two-year project. Wow. With no money in it for tree planting. Library trees. I haven't done anything. Has anyone else done anything? Someone's going to find out. I did do this. Right yeah, before yeah. we got sick, I went to the farmer's market and I talked to the outreach group that they have tabling at the farmer's market and just told them that um, I was a representative from the shade tree committee and we had been getting a lot of comments about preserving the existing trees in the gardens there. And they had already been getting some of those comments um, but I, you know, saying, I think people are kind of reaching out to us because they weren't sure where to go to talk about trees specifically. Um, so it's probably more interest around the trees than what they're currently hearing because we're getting some of that feedback. Um, and a representative from the library committee reached out to me. I haven't been able to follow up because we've been sick since then, but um, we now have a contact um, to, to work with regarding the trees and the library development project. Great, thank you. Yeah, you'll keep us updated as that happens. Yes. Good. Okay, website update. Uh, Bennett's not here. Complete streets and state level initiatives. I haven't done anything. I don't think anything else has happened. Significant tree ordinance. Nothing on that. All right, any other comments or any other things to address? Otherwise, we'll have an early meeting. <laughs> No, nope. going once, twice. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks everyone, and uh, yeah, we'll have a party next month. And uh, Sarah, get all better, and everybody else stay healthy. Can I ask a question about the party quickly? Is yeah. this something that we need to provide? Do we provide food or drink, or it's just a bring your own? I think do we, we do need a party pot planning pot. committee. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's just call it a potluck, you know, bring a cup and bring something to drink and bring light snacks or something. Okay. Share. Yeah. Does that right. sound good? Sure. Ms. Shoshana has been bumped off and can't get back on. So, um, yeah, okay. I don't see we've been trying. So, right. We're done anyway. Um, right. All right. So I'll tell the Greenfield Tree Committee. She'll tell the Northampton one. I can find my other contacts from some of the other committees. If they're still meeting, I'll let them know too. Perfect. And I will ask Bennett and get up even earlier to shake those trees again. Great. <laughs> and Ellen, if you can send me the, uh, send Julian to me the minutes as soon as possible, that'd be great. Yep. Great. Thank All you. right. Thanks for Thank taking you. Thanks, Thanks very everybody. much. Everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.